Uh, question for John, as I know he loves his racing games. Do you think we'll ever see a return of the arcade racing games? Been playing PGR4 and Sega Rally Revo on uh, 360 lately, and it's opened my eyes to the massive car-shaped hole in the video game market today. Racing games in the 6th slash 7th gen seemed to at least attempt to innovate. I can't even imagine Need for Speed uh, staying relevant for much longer. I can't imagine the mass consolidation of racing studios under EA is a good thing for the industry either. Uh, it's a pretty good point, right? I guess there are some things happening in the indie space, but it's rare that we get a AAA mm. arcade racing game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it'll happen again. Really? Not much anyway. I mean, I would love it to happen, but it feels like something that with the way these games are made, the cost of making them, which developer or publisher is going to approve a game that's like that, right? They want engagement. They want numbers. They want monthly active users. That's Those are the stats they care about, which I are, you know, coincidentally, stats I do not care about at all. And, <laughs> what uh, a coincidence. I think... <gasps> I think we're lucky to still have a game like Forza Horizon become a success because that yeah. doesn't completely fill this niche at all because it's open world. Uh, I still think it's close enough in spirit that it's pretty awesome, but I would love some true proper arcade racing games again. And I really, mm -hmm. really want Ridge Racer to return at some point. Oh, absolutely. I can, I can say at least, uh, and I'm going to do a video on this Daytona USA two battle on the edge. Now known as Sega racing classic two in the new like a dragon game is fantastic uh and honestly that never had a home port before and it's so good it makes the you get an amazing game with with daytona so you buy it for daytona and you also get this great uh story driven action game so, <laughs> yeah there, there seem to be a sort of uh death knell sounded when uh, split second and blur failed so abysmally in the xbox 360 and ps3 oh, yeah yeah didn't really recover from that the weird thing is, is rich shame. even though it's a bit different mario kart 8 deluxe specifically the switch version yeah. uh is kind of an arcade racing game right like yeah. it's a kart racer but it's an arcade racing game and it's mm -hmm. also one of the best selling games for the switch that game sold so much which to me says people still like those games and if marketed right and done well, they could absolutely make an arcade racing game work again. It just needs some spark, something to grab the audience like Nintendo mm -hmm. did with Mario Kart. Marvels? Uh, yeah. No, that would no. be the opposite. Not these days. <laughs> Sorry. That would be thinking. awesome. That would be even more, Marvel Kart. more even more of a kind of, you know, removing the characters from their natural environment than yeah. the Suicide Squad. You know, Spider-Man's <laughs> just knocking about, comes across... Well, actually, he did have the Spider-Mobile, which was like this a Jeep. This is true. See, that, I, was a, that was actually a joke. Uh, <laughs> I, remember, yeah, that well, some, I remember some things back in the early 2000s, like a claim of getting access to the license for the movie The Patriot with Mel Gibson. Really? And I recall there being like rumors about like them doing some kind of like the Patriot racing game or something. <laughs> the Tom Clancy Which, universe. Uh, no, 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 game. not not the Tom Clancy. The it's Mel Gibson's. Uh, oh, the, okay. Is it, is it is that Mel Gibson? Top, yeah, I it's Mel Gibson's The Patriot. Okay, it's it's, it's not Mel Gibson's The Patriot. Okay, my bad. Sorry, I was thinking just, Patriot Games. For I'm sorry. just loving the idea of Tom Clancy's kart racing. <laughs> I mean that would actually be really appropriate. I well, think. there was going to be the there was going to be a Metallica car combat game at some point. Yeah, with the trucks. Happen. It was. I was. I remember being psyched about that. There then was a WWF anger came out, F and I was not so psyched e, anymore. Uh, like Crush Hour, I think. <laughs> Crush Hour. Those are not the same as arcade racing games, but yes, we need more arcade racing games, and there are some that. Ex so okay, actually, I will point this out. There are some that exist that are excellent, uh, but they're not available for home um so in japan i played a bunch of the more recent initial d stuff from sega which is basically their modern arcade racing game and of course wangan midnight maximum tune from namco and what a name those games are freaking awesome still seriously like with the combination of the excellent music and just the the driving mechanics like <clears throat> i love those games and they're arcade games uh, okay. So it's we can't play them at home officially. Uh, officially. There's also Daytona USA 3 exists. 
if you didn't know. Mm-hmm. And there's a version of that that brings back tracks from the original game, sort of recreated in a new visual style. So there are still arcade racing games. It's just that they're living up to the name Arcade Racer and being available in the arcade. So okay. mm. I would love to see some of these brought home officially, especially like Maximum Tune. Like I just, I guess it's their money maker, especially in Japan somehow. But man, a home version of that. They even have like that and the initial D games as a full story mode that you can go through and continue in the arcade, <laughs> which is, uh, that would translate is beautifully to home. So, so you loved the recent Need for Speed game, but it doesn't look like EA did because they just sort of chucked it out there without any real form yeah, of effective I, marketing. I did. I loved it. And that, that occupies more of a space like Forza Horizon, but also more like, I guess, EA was doing this with Need for Speed backed in with like Most Wanted uh, on 360 and even, you know, the more modern remake of that in 2012. But this sort of somewhat open world racing game, that's the formula that Forza Horizon would go on to use as well. Um, It does that, but it's still good. I liked it. The races are awesome. 